right, guys, so here, big lake. <laughs> These guys are laughing. <laughs> These guys are laughing at my vlog in here. So we're out here in Big Lake, Minnesota. It's sunny and 70, perfect weather. Uh, we had a local uh, contractor. What happened to this local contractor here, buddy? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so he doesn't know what to tell us. <laughs> They've installed a bunch of curb stops eight feet deep and they have a weep hole. I'll show you in a second. You can kind of see it right there, a little weep hole. So when you shut it off, all the water leaks into the ground contaminating basically the whole planet because it's city water and that's how gross it is so if you live in the city you probably shouldn't drink the water out of your spigot because it contaminates earth that's how bad it is so we gotta dig about uh, 37 of these up and uh replace them so that's what we're here doing and the water's off but there's still a lot of pressure so check it out so we got the right curbs up there that's a uh, mcdonald mcdonald 77 lp3 whatever the number is oh. this baby off and slap that one on and hook it back up. So I think think of the poly we got enough play we can kinda get it hooked up pretty easily. So we just take this off quick, put the new one on, tighten it back up. Uh do you want that other wrench to be able to shut it off quick? The new one? Five second intermission here. We did we dug we dig a little below these so that when the water's coming out it has somewhere to go so we're not immediately swimming because we you know, we forgot our arm floaties today in life jackets so so we dig that little little extra hole there. A little more digging but a little more convenient for us. See, I got the little weep hole there. That's a big no-no. Never ever install a weep hole on a commercial project or in general. That's a big issue. Costs tens of thousands of dollars. We want this open, so when we screw it on, it's not throwing pressure everywhere. <laughs> Great guy, buddy, forgot his mud boots. Got Enos on here, reconnect it with our uh, male end. See, this right here is the issue. See, it's got the little hole there, the valve. So, when you shut it off, it leaks. So, you can't air pressure test it. That's the problem. These ones you can air pressure test, pass every time. So, that's good. We got the stiffener in here, compression fitting, got the clamp. So, we got to reline these back up. They can only go so far before there's a stop in there. So, lift them up. Need some dope or what? Checked up on everything, no cheap insurance. Alright, you want to get them snug, plus one turn. You know they never leak. It's got to hold the air for an hour, 80 pounds, 80 to 100, and then you're good. Ready to fill her in. That's how we do it in this neck of the woods anyway. Comment below how they pressure test or do you do a hydro test? How do you test your water lines in your area? I know there's hydro, air, water. Let me know what you guys do in your area. Both tight, it's all good. Get in the clamp and move on to the next one. Are you ready, Gage? There's not water that's bad.
come down the hole like a flip inside type deal. 